Good morning, Springville High School, and welcome to The Jungle. As most of you may know, October is Down Syndrome Awareness Month. The Beta Club just recently sold shirts to wear on the 28th this month, and the 28th is significant because it is Connor McAdams' birthday, so we will celebrate with him by wearing these shirts and turning Springville blue. If you did not purchase a shirt, don't worry, you can participate by wearing anything blue. Speaking of October, let's not forget that Halloween is right around the corner, and what's the best part of Halloween? The candy. So we went to Instagram to see what everyone in the school thinks the best candies are. Our polls offered a choice between Skittles, M&M's, Kit Kats, and Snickers. Coming in third was Skittles. Second place was a tie between Snickers and M&M's, and the winner was Kit Kat. We also wanted to settle the dispute between candy corn and candy pumpkins, so we created another poll. Candy corn won with 62% of the vote, so be sure to follow us on Instagram so that you can get in polls just like this one. Now let's move to Ellie, who is going to tell us about the Argo Teen Council. Argo Teen Council is a youth-led organization that involves community service. To gain some more knowledge, I talked to some of the members. Argo Teen Council is a lot of fun and I enjoy hanging out with friends and helping the community. And my favorite thing that we've done so far is National Night Out. So I'm on Argo Teen Council and I would have to say my favorite part is probably Argo Night Out, especially when you get to play in the band or just help out with little kids. Yeah, I heard it was a great time. Argo Teen Council is an awesome organization where we get to have teenagers like us that are in high school that are mainly from Springville. There are a couple people from Odenville, not this year, but there have been. Uh, but we go out and we get to be a part of the actual council with the mayor and uh, everybody just like that in the city of Argo. And we get to have our own little uh, area where we do community projects, where we go out and serve people and stuff like that. And this was created actually a few years ago by Emma Owen and it's been passed down. And so this year I'm the president uh, and it's pretty exciting. We have a few more spots available. So if you'd like to join, come talk to me. Uh, we can totally get you signed up. Our routine council is a great way to get involved with your community. This is Ellie signing off on the jungle. Back to you guys. Thanks, Ellie. Next up, we have Michaela with her story on whether The Nightmare Before Christmas is a Christmas movie or a Halloween movie. We all know and love Tim Burton's famous movie, The Nightmare Before Christmas. But the question that remains unsolved is whether or not this movie is a Halloween or a Christmas movie. There are many aspects of the movie that can show how it is a Halloween or a Christmas theme, such as the two songs, This is Halloween and What is This, where we see the main character, Jack, talk about both holidays. We asked some students what holiday they think the movie is based on and why. I think it's a Halloween movie because it has more like horror-themed stuff. It's a Halloween movie because it's just more Halloween than Christmas. The Halloween movie. Mostly because it's just Halloween of going into Christmas. The Nightmare Before Christmas is, I would say, it's a Halloween movie, more like because there's a lot more, uh, there's a lot more stuff in the movie that, like the uh, boogeyman and all the little children and trick-or-treating near the beginning, rather than at the end, although it has all the elves, it's just, there's a lot more of a, I guess, spooky vibe to it. I would say it's a Halloween movie just because of all the colors and the skeleton and some of the graveyard elements. It's neither. It is clearly a Thanksgiving movie. So, yeah. Well, there you have it. What do you think The Nightmare Before Christmas is? A Halloween movie or a Christmas movie? This is Michaela reporting for The Jungle. Back to you guys. Thanks, Michaela. Now we have a new segment called Blaine Tries Everything. This segment will feature Blaine as he tries to learn something new every week. Welcome everybody to The Jungle's brand new segment, Blaine Tries Everything. I'm Blaine, and in this segment, I'm going to be trying anything. Today, me and my buddy Wyatt are trying out Dance Line, uh, and I'm bringing Wyatt to make it less awkward for me. So, let's go. <laughs> now we're in uniform and ready to dance. So what are me and Wyatt learning to do today? So today we're going to stretch them out so that they don't hurt or tear anything because safety first and then we're going to teach them our iconic Eye of the Tiger dance and we're going to show them a little quick kick sequence. I'm not going to lose any man points at all <laughs> by doing this. Nope. <laughs> Over to the right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> Flat back to the right. What? Oh, 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 oh. Stretch your left arm out.
Alright, dance line practice is now over. I think I struggled a little bit. Why? How did you do? I think I'm tiger up material. <laughs> how do y'all think that we did? I think they did really good. I mean, there's some there's some things that we need to fix, but overall for your first practice, I think we have some future potential tigerettes right here. I think they deserve some white boots on their lockers. I mean, Me too. good yeah. job. I agree. <laughs> well, <laughs> back to you, Savannah. Thanks, guys. Next up, we have Prayer with her story on movie quotes. Movie watching is a staple pastime. Out of all movies, there are some beloved favorites. I went down the halls of SHS to ask students and faculty to identify these famous movie quotes. Whoever said orange is the new pink was seriously disturbed. Oh, that's from Legally Blonde. Uh, movie? I don't, I don't know. Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind. Willow and Stitch. My mom always said, life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. That's from a uh, Forrest Gump. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing. On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. It's October 3rd. Mean Girls. Uh, Jack Skellington, whatever that movie is, no? That's Mean Girls. <laughs> there are so many movies that we love to quote. This is Prayer, reporting for the jungle. Back to you guys. Thanks, Prayer. Next up, we have Jesse with the story on hallway etiquette. So, oh. <laughs> Have you ever been stuck behind a slow walker or couldn't get to class because the hallway was blocked? Well, we here at the jungle understand. Let's begin with slow walkers. If you are behind someone going slowly, don't step on their heels. You should try to go around them, if possible. When walking up the stairs, don't use the entire stairwell. Try and walk up in a single or double file line. Hey, Saturday was great. I know, it was so If a person good. needs in their locker, so don't stand there and talk with a friend. Know, really Let the person through. do that great, but like, I was really proud. Oh, do you need to get to your locker? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Finally, when walking down the hallway and you are head on with another person, don't wait until the last second to choose a direction and do an awkward shuffle. Choose your direction well in advance of passing the person. Hopefully some of these hallway etiquette tips will make moving from class to class less stressful. This is Jesse signing off on the jungle. Thanks, Jesse. Now let's move to Sydney who had a story on haunted houses. Haunted houses are a Halloween tradition, and I asked the students of Springville High School what their favorite haunted houses were and why, and these are the responses that I got. I went to Aatrox. It wasn't very scary, but it was still fun. I'll probably go back, and I'll definitely recommend it. I went to the haunted house at Six Flags. Um, it's, it wasn't very scary, and I probably wouldn't go back, and I don't recommend it. I went to uh, Aatrox. It was pretty fun. Uh, it wasn't very scary. They like to uh, mess around with you, but I'd recommend it. The haunted house I went to was Sloss. Yes, it was fun. It wasn't that scary, and I would recommend to go again. I thought that Boo at the Zoo was pretty scary, in my opinion. I did cry. <laughs> uh, yes, I would recommend it. Now that you know what the best haunted houses are, you can go check them out for yourselves. This is Sydney reporting for The Jungle. Back to you, Jackson and Savannah. Thanks, Sydney. Now we have Skylar and Ransom here to give us an update on sports. Thanks, Savannah and Jackson. Up first, we have Asa with football. In Friday's game, the Tigers faced the Mortimer Jordan Blue Devils. The Tigers went scoreless in the first half, but later on in the third quarter, the Tigers scored two touchdowns and the defense held the Blue Devils to zero. Later in the fourth quarter, the Tigers scored one more touchdown to make the final score 56 to 20. Next up, we have Robin with volleyball. Last Thursday, the volleyball team beat Sardis and Lincoln on their senior night. The seniors this year are Lexi Beatty, middle hitter, Lily Casey, right side hitter, and Robin Russo, setter. On Monday, the Lady Tigers beat Centerpoint and St. Clair to win the area tournament, 
which advances them to Super Regionals in Huntsville, where they play Thursday at 9 a.m. in the Von Braun Center. The cross-country team competed in a meet at Hewitt. Let's take a look. The cross-country team ran at the Husky Challenge on Saturday. Bethann Tucker finished 8th and is now ranked number 1 in 5A girls. Congratulations to her. The boys finished 13th out of 23 schools and the girls finished 14th out of 18 schools. The cross-country team will compete in the St. Clair Invitational Day. Football plays St. Clair County at home on Friday. It also is Seniors Night. Be sure to come out and support our team. Let's fill up the student section this week. Next up, we have Tiger Tom. Let's move to Laurel. So Coach House, you won Ariel on Monday. What are you hopeful for at regionals? Hopefully we'll just go up there and play well, serve or save well, and uh, win the first game, get into the second game, hopefully win the second game, and then if we can do that, we can move into the state tournament. Thanks, Laurel. Back to you, Savannah and Jackson. Thanks, guys. Be sure to follow us on our YouTube channel at The Jungle SHS. Also, check out our Instagram at SHS underscore jungle underscore roar. And be on the lookout for our October edition of the newspaper, The Roar, on October 30th. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week for another episode of The Jungle.